Hi guys and welcome back to OG Cars and you join us in the top garage with our newly acquisitioned blue Fiat 126. Now today we're doing a service and I've done services on Fiat 126s before but this time I'm going to include a very important thing that I should have done on all of my 126s but never have which is grease the kingpins. So I bought this. It's a Nielsen 3 ounce um, grease gun cartridge uh, set. Basically, it costs like £14, and it, you can get bigger ones, which is probably ideal if you're obviously going to be greasing things fairly often, especially with the uh, MG Metro that I've bought, like rear arms and stuff like that is useful for. Um, but I just thought it'd be an entry-level thing just to try this out and see what it can do. So I've got that off of eBay. I've got a few more other bits of kit as well for our service, so that's going to deal with our um a steering issue we've got a bit of tight steering so uh, yeah we're going to grease the kingpins and uh, hope for the best on that we've got an oil uh tray to collect our waste oil and we've got some daytona 20w50 carly oil um 2.6 liters this car takes and uh normally they take about 15w40 grade but um obviously it's a little bit weepy a little bit old a little bit tired so 20w50 is a good classic oil to go for for that and some guys may remember if i had a white fit 126 ages ago and i had this air filter that i bought for it and never fitted it's a filter on ar215 i think i actually bought it in poland and brought it back with me um it was mega cheap and uh it's been sitting in my garage so it can finally go on a car this one so a couple of you have been asking for a video where we basically do a bit more showing of the tinkering that we do. So this is it. Basically, um, I'm going to start by taking off the oil filler cap um, just here on the top of the engine. Um, and this will allow a bit of airflow through when we actually take the sun plug out so that all of the oil can come out nice and easily. I'm just going to move the oil dipstick up and out slightly as well as that helps with airflow as well. So that's done. We'll go look at the air filter next. Apologies as well for the angles. Giorgino has parked in the San Francisco ZX behind the 126, so it's a bit of a fiddle, um, but obviously we want to fit as many cars as we can in here. Here's how our um, Filtron AR215. So for, to do the air filter, we've got three clips, so one on the front here, one at the rear left and one at the rear right, and then this literally just lifts out like that. We can just, just about, with everything else on, he says, this is a good thing about doing it in real time. I'm just going to take it off the end of there. Um, which is like a, a sound deadener, I believe, and take that out. That does actually look relatively recent by the looks of it, so um, that's a good thing. And it is a Filtron AR215 as well, so that's good. But ultimately, we're here to change it. So let's pop the new one in. So I am just going to pop it in to the hole first, and then just want to make sure that it is slotted in correctly on there um, before it goes on, he says. This is a good thing about doing it in real time, you get to see how long things actually take behind the scenes. So, before we put the clips in, we do actually need to put this sound editor back on as well. I'm going to end up cutting loads of stuff out of this, aren't I? There we are, it's on there now. And yeah, it's firmly in there, it's firmly in the sound editor. Pushed in, hold it down, and then grab all the clips and do them all up. So rear left, rear right, pull it down at the front. And there we are. That is the air filter done. And here we are under the engine. So I've got my camera just resting on the inside of the rear right wheel with a torch facing that sump plug as well. So that is a 17 mil, I know, because I just grabbed 67,000 sockets from downstairs just to see what size it was. So I've got, a 3.8 17mm um, socket on a 3.8 ratchet. I'm just going to start and doing that now. And I've got a rag and I've got a ball ready. So if we move the ratchet out of the way, now that it's mostly hand tight, I should be able to just, he says, it's not, it's not tight. That's always the way. You don't want to go too far, just in case it goes all over the floor. So just a little bit more and just grab the sun plug by hand with the rag ready just by the side just for when it comes out you put the plug straight onto a rag and hopefully not get oil everywhere there we are not too shabby we're just going to let that drain for a while now and uh, yeah once it's all drained out fully we shall put the plug back in and tighten it up 
I've put the grease gun together. I will attach a video in the description for anyone who's wondering how you load the cartridge into here. And I've just primed it as well. So we've got grease coming out the end. And what I'll do is I'll set us up now on the near side front, ready to grease that kingpin. I'll say my apologies now as the camera angle again probably isn't very good. But I've done my inspection of the suspension area. I know the brakes are good because they were rebuilt last year and I have receipts for that. Um, and yeah, I've checked the dust covers and the hoses and shock absorber, everything seems okay, nothing's leaking. So what we're gonna do now is just get our grease again. Um, I've got the extendable, um, well, flexible attachment on there. And you see the grease nipple is just here. Um, hopefully you can see that anyway. And the end is specially made just to clip onto there. And then I can just pump the end of the grease gun and it'll start filling up the kingpin now. And now you can hear it and see it coming out the bottom there. And that does look quite dirty. So I do believe it is uh, not been greased for some time, unfortunately. But hopefully this bit of grease will give it a new lease of life. Right, I'm just going to go to the other side now and do that one. And then we'll be all good on the kingpin front. Well, apologies again for the angle. Um, you're probably only going to see my bum, but if I'm scared down here on the front right side. It's tight. Um, I've just cleaned up the end of this uh, grease nipple because it's very dirty. So I've just sprayed it, wiped it over. Um, you want it clean, otherwise you'll be injecting all that dirt through it as well. So I'm just going to connect it up now like we did on the other side. And then I can show you the other end of what I'm doing, which is pumping the grease gun and we're just again watching for it coming out um, when it's fully greased. And there we have it. Another grease gun won't come off. That's fine. Okay, so you join us back down here. And uh, yeah, now it's clean things greased. And we've had a decent amount of time for the oil to drain. I forget it's time to move the train back as we've got no more drips. We'll just put the sump plug back in and we'll give it a tighten up with wherever I put that 17 mil over here. Tighten up so that nothing else leaks. Try not to hit the exhaust too much. Uh, but not tight enough so that our ground fell off. Somewhere around there. So you could probably see while we we're under there that there were a couple of other small oil leaks and I've decided that I'm just going to pretend I didn't see those and uh, it'll be fine. Uh, no, in all seriousness, I will clean off those leaks and we will have a look and see what's coming from where. But obviously these old 126 engines can be quite weepy, especially around the rocket covers, um, which this one see, seems like the gasket is uh, slightly worn, I say old, um, but obviously... Uh, these cars are very old now, and unless they've had replacement seals and stuff, then they do start to weep around. Um, I need to go and poke the top of this before I drop it everywhere. But what I'm gonna do now is just fill it up with 2.6 liters of engine oil. That was close. Don't throw it all in at once. Seems like a little bit of a slow filler. I've just had it burble up towards the uh, the breather there, which is a tad scary. So that's 2.6 liters of oil put into there. Now I'm going to do the right thing and not start it now because it's very late at night and the 126s make a very characteristic starting engine sound. If you haven't heard it, go look at Project Marmalade when we tried to start that. That was quite entertaining. I'm just going to pop the oil filler cap on there and just push the dipstick back in. And obviously when I next go to run it, um, I'm going to run it for a few seconds, check the dipstick, make sure we're all good, top it up if need to be, and then that service done. Now, just to let you guys know, on the crank, the front of it, there is a cover and that is the centrifugal oil filter and you can clean it out with a screwdriver. It's recommended every, I think it's 20, 25,000 miles or something like that. It's all on the 126 pages. So if you guys are due to do that, then please look up the guide on that. I think it's also in the Haynes manual as well. So that about wraps up the service on our Fiat 126. It was due a service, so it's had 
fresh oil, it's had a new air filter and it's had greased kingpins. The oil filter cleanup was done semi recently, to my knowledge, as was a full brake rebuild last year. So we're all good there. But yeah, this should be ready to go now. All that's left to do is check the oil, as I say, another day and give it a road test. And hopefully the grease gets going through those kingpins and hopefully they survive. If not, then that'll be another video where we end up buying and replacing um, some kingpins. But we hope you've enjoyed this little tinkering video. Let us know your thoughts on this style of video because um, we weren't sure how it would do and we're not sure if you guys are interested in this kind of thing. It's sort of slightly different to what we usually do. We have done a couple of tinkering things, but they tend to be a bit smaller. So was it any good me showing you like that? Do you have any suggestions? Please let us know. Um, but other than that, guys, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one.